So you're ready to put new floors throughout your house. This means multiple types of floors with varying heights. So how do we tie everything together? With the proper use of flooring transition pieces. The most common flooring transition profiles are a T-mold, a reducer, and stair nose. Now there are several other profiles that are used in specialty applications. Profiles such as a threshold or what they call a saddle. But in today's video, we're going to focus on the profiles used in the majority of flooring installations. First up, we have the T-mold. Now the T-mold gets its name from its shape. It actually looks like a T. One thing I do want to point out, for this demonstration, we're using unfinished transition pieces. In a real world application, all these profiles would be stained and finished to match your floors. A T-mold is used whenever you're butting up two surfaces that are the same height, like what we have here. So you see a gap where, where one floor transitions into the other. You put a T-mold there and it gives you a clean, finished look. Up next is the reducer. A reducer is used whenever two floors butt up against each other that have different heights. The reducer will smooth out that transition and greatly reduce the risk of a tripping hazard going from room to room. Here we have a prime example of where you'll find a reducer being used. We go from three quarter inch solid hardwood flooring down to a much thinner, say vinyl or tile floor, and it gives you a smooth transition from surface to surface. The last profile we're gonna talk about is the stair nose. Now obviously you're gonna find stair nosing on stairs but it's also used whenever you have, say, a raised or a sunken room in your house. The main function of a stair nose is to give a clean, finishing touch wherever steps are found. The stair nose simply butts up to the existing floor, giving you the perfect finishing touch on your install. Transition pieces are an essential part of every flooring install. And hopefully after watching this video, you'll not only know where transition pieces are used, but why they're used as well.